Okay, now what I was trying to do was <clears throat> look at the alleyway between 433 Gardner's Road and I assume 431 Gardner's Road. But what happened uh, was it takes a screen capture from Google Earth inside the shop. There's a house across the road. So what I was trying to show you was um, there's an alleyway, I remember as a child, beside there's a Diane's gift shop. Now it's gone nuts. Okay, now what I was actually doing, if I can get out a bit now, now we're looking at the ceiling. Oh, come on, this doesn't happen, right? So this satellite was inside the shop. And there it is, 431 Gardner's Road. Now we're outside. There's the name of the shop. Where it is. Oh, now we're back inside the shop again in the far side the front door. Now this is a miracle. This does not happen with Google Earth. Uh, what it's trying to show you is a uh, panoramic view inside a shop and uh, it doesn't appear to be any shopkeepers. So here we are looking outside now, across the road. There's Roby tiles open. We'll just go a bit of a view through here again, see what happens. And now, by taking this little thing here, you should be able to do a 180. What I was trying to show you was, as a child, my auntie had taken over the uh, building next door, which I thought we lived in, but we didn't. My brother told me that uh, was this shop, 433. Now, this is the, down below. In other words, to, above this is where my auntie lived. So, there it is, even of the door hinge and all of the appliances, all of the crockery inside the building. I'd like to see anyone else on the planet do this. Yeah, everyone's got Google Earth, except you can do it. So now there's the door. Now this goes out to the backyard. We'll do a shot in a moment above this and you'll see um, what I was trying to show you was to the right here is a laneway and I don't seem to be able to get it. Maybe. So it's Diane's gift house. Wait a minute. There's the laneway right there. Okay, so that's either that one or that one was where my aunt lived. I would have thought it would have been that one there. However, 
this is 431 here I thought there it is there 431 this is 433 so this one would be 429 um, now 429 there it is that's how many days there are between my first wife and myself birth, her birth was uh, the 8th of uh, November 1942 to January 11th 1944 now what happened was we would go from 105 Rothschild Avenue and we walked down this alleyway and then there's a, a flight of stairs that leads there's a doorway on this wall and then you go into a flight of stairs up the back into this top area here so as I say I'd like to see anyone be able to do that go right inside the shop here the doors are closed by the way and we were just watching it before with the doors open because we saw the hinges and nobody in the shop so I'll see if I can go back in there so we can go into the shop here where we just was now we're next door now the door opened for us before there it is the door's open we're going to get inside to the back door so the stairs would be going up behind that door there so you'd go into this entrance here and I'd imagine there's a door there and this goes to the backyard that is something else Inside the shop again. Determined I saw something, aren't they? Mm. But you notice there's no people in there. Mm. So it's one of those shops where you go and help yourself. No one's going to bother you. Shoplift all you like. No people in it, and the doors open for you as soon as you walk up. So what do you think of that? Let's go a little further. Definitely no people in there, right? Now this one here, 431. This is where I'm trying to get down this alley here because I remember walking in there as a child. I was about two years old. That's gone too far. But there it is. There. There's the wall. You walk down there and up to the top floor and that's where my auntie lived which I thought was where we lived but it wasn't <coughs> my brother told me ah, not, here we go back inside the shop they determined to sell you something eh? alright that'll do us